open immigration, but that sign we have in the front of the Statue of Liberty, give us your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. Can we just say, hey, the door's open, we'll take whoever you got. <laughs> we have to specify the wretched, refuse, I mean, but why don't we just say, give us the unhappy, the sad, the slow, the ugly, people that can't drive, if they have trouble merging, if they can't stay in their lane, if they don't signal, can't parallel park, if they're sneezing, if they're stuffed up, if they're clogged, if they have bad penmanship, don't return calls, if they have danger, food between their teeth, if they have bad credit, if they have no credit. Just to spot shaving. In other words, any dysfunctional, defective slob that you can somehow cattle prod onto a wagon, send them over. We want it. <laughs> I think is that each person has their own sexual timetable of what should happen when that the other person knows nothing about. That's why I really think we need some sort of sexual rule book where it's written down and agreed upon sexual standard dating procedure. You know what I mean? So if there's any problems, you can go, look, honey, I'm very sorry, but uh, we've been out three times, and according to Article 7, Section 5, there's got to be some physical contact. <laughs> Otherwise, I will report you to the board, and they can put out a warrant for an embrace. You're my ex.